Hey, what up everyone, it's a boy Altertech, back again with a new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new privacy control settings on Android 10. So let's go ahead and check that out real quick. So uh, first, what you want to do is you want to open up the settings menu. Now this is running Android Pie, and this is actually running Android 10. This is the Pixel 3, and this is the Samsung A10e. So once you're in the settings, as you guys can see on Android Pie, there is no privacy menu. So if you were to go into the Pixel, there is a privacy setting right over here. And once you would tap that, so you have access to all the necessary settings you would need in order to secure your privacy. So let's go ahead and check this out real quick. So here you do have your permissions manager. So here you can actually access which apps are allowed to what feature. For example, some apps are allowed to use your body sensors. Some of them are allowed to use your camera, your location, microphone, and etc. So in order to even get into that menu, you would have to tap the apps setting on Android Pie and actually no it's not even that so if you're doing this on android pie you would have to go through a few of these settings and try to find out which one has the settings for each app so here we go apps apps permissions yeah i'm not gonna waste your time you know just sifting through this so uh that's a win for android 10. so let's go back and see what else we have so you do have the options to show your passwords so when you're typing you can either hide it or you know have it visible that's another security feature as for the lock screen you do have the option to show all your notifications or either hide it now you could definitely do that on android pie but you do have to look for that setting so like i said everything is just scrambled there's there's no one spot for you to go ahead and search for your privacy settings so here you do have another privacy setting called autofill service from Google. And this is where you could actually control whether or not Google could save your passwords, credit card information, and addresses on file. Now you also have your Google location history setting, which I'm pretty sure many people don't even know about. With this setting, Google could actually, you know, store your location throughout the day. And for some people, you know, they might actually enjoy it because it actually gives them better feedback or better ads but for other people, you might not even want this on your device. So you can just go ahead and turn that off. You can see why Google had to go ahead and implement this privacy setting because everything here, you're going to have to be number one tech savvy. And for number two, you're going to have to go spend some time digging for these settings. So you do have activity control. So with this, you could choose the activities and info you allow Google to save. For example, let's go ahead and see what we have here. So you could either give Google the option to store your Google Chrome history you know, save your activity from apps on this device so these are things you probably don't want google to save so let me just go ahead and go back so you could pause that real quick your location history i'll take that off device information it stores information about your contacts calendars apps you could probably take that off too now this is just for demonstration purposes now if you're really serious about your privacy i would just take everything off now with this you can also opt out of ads personalization that means apps are not allowed to use your advertising id to build profiles to show you your personalized ad let's say you do have an ad id you know, an app could just use that and just give you an ad based on what you like okay and finally we do have our usage and diagnostic setting and with this setting you can actually share your data with google so they could actually improve the android experience so usually when you get a new Samsung device, maybe a new Motorola device, or even a new OnePlus device, they'll ask you whether or not, you know, would you give them permission to get some feedback from your device or share some data so they could actually improve the quality and service of your products. You know, if you're not comfortable with that, you could just go ahead and turn that off. Now, all of these privacy control settings can be found on any device running Android 10. So anyways, I hope this helped you out. This is Altertech signing out. If you have any questions or comments, please hit me up down below. And please don't forget to subscribe for some more informational videos like this. Anyways, this is Alter Tech signing out. I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Peace.